This video will introduce the Apex family of fiber optic splice closures from AFL and state the key components and structures of Apex closures. Before we begin, I want to clarify some safety and performance considerations regarding this video series. We are working in a classroom environment with cable stubs. There is no live fiber. We are attempting to give you the best instruction to efficiently install AFL's Apex splice closure. All local safety requirements must be used when building Apex, as there is always a danger of live optics or physical injury. All local bonding, grounding, cleaning, inspection, and splice loss must be followed. The tools needed for installing Apex include a can wrench, optional 3 8 inch by 7 16 inch ratchet wrench, cable prep tools, splicing tools, safety glasses, and all other safety equipment required by your organization. Let me introduce you to the family of Apex closures. These all share very similar features and this video will cover all sizes of Apex installation. This will be a multi-part video and will continue to evolve as the Apex family continues to grow. All of the Apex models are gel sealed dome closures. The X1 is a compact model with four ports for individual cable access. The X2S is a short version of our full featured X2 with six ports for individual cable access. The X2 is a full featured six port individual cable access. The X3 is a larger version of our full featured model with six port individual cable access. The X38 is a larger full featured closure with six port individual cable access that is optimized for high capacity 6912 non-matrix ribbon splicing. Capacities and dimensions are shown on the individual specification sheets on each Apex web page on aflglobal.com. I will be using the Apex X2 for demonstration and installation instructions today. Starting from the outside of the closure. The air valve is used for flash testing after the Apex installation has been completed. We recommend a maximum of 5 PSI when flash testing. This slot is used for pole or wall mount of Apex. The dome tabs can be used when mounting Apex in vaults and pedestals. Aerial mounting locations are provided for AFL aerial brackets or secured with cable spacers and strapping. The pole or wall mount insert can also be used as a reference for aerial installation to show proper basket location when installed at 12 o'clock to the strand. Apex ground studs are an option when available ordering the splice case. These are not fuel installable on any Apex. The locking ring has provisions for cable ties or lock tags for security. Once the closure is open, the sealing O-ring retained in place, but is field replaceable if damaged. It is also protected by the dome when placed on a workbench or floor. The alignment tab and pull insert represent the top of the apex when installed or during installation. The individual cable port wedge seals allow a cable to be installed or accessed without disturbing any other cable or ground. Self-sizing independent gel seals provide superior performance without the need for sizing kits. A large protective polycarbonate basket to eliminate fiber snags with multiple tie-down locations for cable ties or Velcro. Splice trays are universal to accommodate ribbon and single fiber splicing in the same tray. The spline allows for splice trays to be easily added and removed in the field. An optional inner basket is available on some Apex models allowing additional separation of fibers and basket if desired. If the Apex is not ordered with the inner basket, there are basket tabs installed to help route and maintain fiber. If the inner basket is removed in the field for a specific application, there is a kit included of basket tabs to be installed. The base of the Apex holds the individual ceiling wedges. These wedges are comprised of an outer gel block, 
compression spring and the gel compression screw. There is an inner gel block attached to the base and an orange port plug which is used when no cable is installed. The base also houses the cable attachment unit or CAU which is attached to the base by a single 3 8 inch bolt. This allows the cable and ground, if applicable, to be installed on the CAU on the workbench and then installed into the base. CAU kits are shipped with the Apex in the same box. Each kit provides strain relief for cable or cables in a single cable port in the Apex base. The CAU is a single molded piece to provide cable retention as well as to secure central strength member or CSM members. The CAU tab is easily removable for cables not needing CSM retention. Hose clamp worm gears are secured here for ease of installation. Small diameter bushing and spacer included in each kit for small diameter cable applications. The most up-to-date instruction manual is included with each Apex as well as there is a version available on the corresponding Apex page of the AFL website. Velcro for securing fiber, cable, or tubes. A packet of Apex grease which needs to be applied each time the case is opened. These are the key components of Apex. Apex is designed so every piece in the Apex closure is field replaceable if needed to plan for the unexpected.